Hey gang, Lon Naylor here in the Screencast Studios, and today I'm going to be looking at the Facebook Live Engagenator. Let's get started. So let's take a look at what this does in general first, and then I'll kind of cover my review and details of it. Basically, if you haven't heard, Facebook Live is kind of Facebook's entry into the streaming category of video. And clearly this is a competitive market, so Facebook's trying to compete with things like Periscope and YouTube and all those other such streaming services. As such, what they're doing is basically giving some preferential treatment to videos that are on the live stream as opposed to those that we just might upload directly into Facebook. So some pretty uh, interesting juice there. Just the fact that we're going to get a boost in who sees this on their feed is going to be pretty interesting. In fact, a lot of folks will get a notification and even a special notification when they are on a mobile device. So there are some interesting things that we can certainly take advantage of here. And that's all well and good, but of course I've been testing it out. And let's take a little bit of a look at some of my results real quick. This one, for example, is currently uh, less than a day into it, and I have 426 views, five shares, including one from my buddy Brian G. Johnson, which got a lot of traffic and traction, oh, 30 comments, and in reality, I also included a affiliate link in this particular thread and made two affiliate sales. All I'm going to attribute to the extra exposure that I got from a piece of content that I already had created. So basically, we're going to get to specifically target people that like us and follow us on Facebook. And we're also going to be able to entice them to take some kind of action. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sweet, I'd say. But here's kind of the, the scoop and the secret sauce. This is about three times what this exact same video that I uploaded to my regular feed did when I posted it a couple of months ago. So within 24 hours, I'm about tripling my exposure and I got a lot more shares and even more comments and engagement. So that alone kind of tells me that I can take content that I've already created and push it up as a live feed. Now I don't recommend that you actually, you know, profess that it is live at the time, but rather I just kind of let people know that hey, here's a good tutorial. I'm on live chatting with you right now, but I'm not necessarily, you know, doing the, the demo and stuff live itself. And people seem to like it. It was a way for them to get exposed to video content and tutorials that they hadn't seen from me yet. And the fact that I was in the comments box kind of taking care of folks and interacting and engaging with them really just meant that I got a lot more exposure and I got to engage with people in a much broader fashion. So this one was just to my timeline. You can also post to groups and pages, which is also kind of nice. And I think uh, I'm going to do some more testing on that. Let's look at an, another quick one that I did as a test. This one I kicked off later in the evening, rather. And let's kind of take a look at this. So about 12 hours into it, I have 94 views and not quite as much engagement, but you know, that could be because of the content or any number of reasons I imagine, but I still think this is pretty good, at least for, for my group and my audience. I am pretty darn happy with the results of it, being able to take advantage of the live streaming boost that you get right from Facebook without actually having to go live. And, you know, for a lot of people, that's kind of an issue. Uh, if you have tutorial content, if you have webinar replays and stuff like that, this is an excellent way to 
kind of reach out and engage with folks. And I think it helps differentiate you a little bit too, because the preponderance of live streams that I see are people just getting on their webcams and or smartphones and just kind of yammering away. Well, that's that's all well and good. But in most cases, I have some edited content. I think it's going to make me look a little bit better and come across maybe a little more professionally. Lots of good upside here. Let's take a look at the software real quick, and I'll walk you through how easy it is to do this. Installing it's pretty much a breeze. Just follow the instructions. It is standalone software at a one-time fee, so I like that quite a bit. And when you launch the program, it'll check for updates, so you can always have the latest, greatest version. Just enter in your Facebook credentials. Go ahead and select a video. Give it a title and a description. can also include a link, of course, a little call to action. I'm going to select the thumbnail to use. Click Next and basically start the process. What the software is going to do then is prepare my pre-existing video and get it ready to kind of stream it up to Facebook Live. This process can actually take a while, so it's probably the most uh, time-intensive part of the whole process. Peter Drew, I think, uh, is a pretty darn good developer, and I really didn't have any problems, per se, with the software during the beta testing. I'm going to go ahead and click the help file here and just kind of let you know an issue I did run into. Living out in the western Wisconsin wilderness, I found I didn't have enough upload speed, and it stuttered horribly. I had about a 0.3 megabit per second upload, and I actually called my ISP and got upgraded, and now I'm at about 1 megabit per second, and it seems to function pretty darn efficiently. I don't think most people will have this problem, because, you know, you live in more of the real world. You probably have a, a very decent upload speed. But you can always go to speedtest.net and make sure you have at least 0.6 megabits up. Other than that, like I say, I had no major issues or problems with the software. When it's ready, you push this big start live button and boom. Now since Facebook shows it as live, I don't really recommend racking up a whole bunch of these and then just, you know, kicking them off. I totally envision using this as starting the live stream of my existing video and then jumping on my Facebook page and monitoring the chat box. That seemed to work really well, and uh, I got some pretty good results from it. Let's take a look at the OTOs for just a minute. The first one is kind of an interesting little set of enhancements that let these little hearts and likes and other embellishments kind of be added to your video that you're going to upload and stream live. So that's kind of nice. For 10 bucks. I like this asset and I can use it in a lot of other different projects too, so I like that one. The second OTO is for you to get more engagement on your fan pages. And essentially what will happen is it's a different, slightly different version of the Engagenator where notifications will be sent to everyone that has liked your fan page. So I'm thinking if you have a fan page that has you know some decent likes and views and stuff like that, then this is going to be something that uh, will really kind of boost it out there as far as people being notified that this live video is going on. So I like, uh, I think that's going to be kind of an interesting one as well. So I hope you found that useful. I like this software. It's well done. Peter Drew's a outstanding developer. I had zero problems with the code in essence. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I think it's a very interesting technology and tool for getting some really good engagement. I got some great results with it. So thanks and we'll talk to you later.